Where am I? Where am I? Hello! <laughs> Good morning. How's it going? Are you in the mood for, like, knocking out quick achievements? Or are you in the mood for, like, longer, more involved campaigns? You could just start at the top of the list, work your way down. That's actually a pretty good way of doing it. I mean, if you think about it. Of course, that would mean we'd be doing Norwegian wood. Maybe start at the bottom instead. <laughs> well, the bottom is where the newest ones are from. As a New World native with random New World active, explore the entire New World. Alright. What do you think? <laughs> Should this just be the new the new thing? We just We just do whatever's at the bottom of the achievement list, and that's it. We just don't even think about it. We just do that. Get it. Come on, you know you want to do it! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do... Random New World now. Do you guys care if we see the map, maybe? I mean... Doesn't matter. It does help. I mean, we could theoretically, like, random the world over and over again until we see one where we can easily reveal... the... all the provinces. Game seems kind of laggy right now. So we want to spawn in a location where we can declare war on lots of little OPMs so we can colonize. So we could, I mean, we could just like be the only derp that lives up here. One, just all by herself. <laughs> Migrate like crazy. Alright, so we're going to migrate right as we start, so there's no reason to spend points taking a high development province. But we could take a crappy province, which costs less for custom nation, and then migrate to a better province. And then we can attack the one guy that we border, and then we'll just colonize everything. Sounds good. Okay, we can only have up to 200 points, so... Um, I don't think you need to change this setting in order to be eligible for the achievement. But just in case, I will. Alright, so the only thing we really, really care about is Migration Cooldown. Government, uh, Monarchy Feudal Nobility is no. We need to be a Native Council. Yeah, apparently you can. Yep, you can do this achievement with a uh, Custom Nation. Manchu Culture? Sure, we can do that. We're talking about the name right now, though. <laughs> awesome Aggressive Expansion. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's try Awesome. I don't think I've ever used Awesome before. Migratia? That's actually pretty funny. Migratia. I like it. Migratia. Uh, that one's pretty good. Here, we could do bears. Polar bears, because we're going to be Inuit. Muslim for cav ratio. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. Let's go with Norse. There's like a 20% goods produced god you can worship. Which is amazingly good. So Manchu Norse. South American tech group. We're not going to pay... Or a higher level tech group. This is acceptable. Um, I don't really want to spend a huge amount of time. I mostly just wanted to get the migration cooldown modifier and try that out. So let's just bump them all up by one and see how close we get to 200. Go a little bit higher. We could take a worse leader to start with. I think free thinker to get the first little bit. Well advised in order to... Well, we're not going to run any advisors at the start actually. It's good enough, right? It's good enough. It'll work. Let's just go. I just want to play. Want to play. Silly Achievey. Go. You can migrate with more than one province? No. We're going to migrate for a while and it's going to generate stupid amounts of monarch points. That's the game plan. We want to migrate to Yemena. Migrate. Bam. We migrated. Suddenly we have 16 development. So good. We have a force limit of 8. We're training more troops. We're going to rival our neighbor. We're going to... Kill him. Monarch points for freeze, please. Okay. Discipline would kind of help out a little bit. Uh, guaranteed shock pip probably does more though than the discipline if I... That's actually interesting math. I I bet the guaranteed shock pip is better than 5% discipline. Let's check to make sure we're eligible for the achievement. We are. 
A female ruler cannot become a general in our country. Why the hell is she a woman? <laughs> How did you guys not notice that? <laughs> I guess we have to hire a general because we have a stupid woman. Sucks, man. Stupid woman's are... <laughs> Roll a three. <laughs> we had a minimum of three to eight and we got a three. That was a bad name, apparently. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Pretty sure we're gonna have more... Oh, he migrated away from 11 development onto 7 development. Super smart. We should have more overall military power than him. I don't think he can go higher than our force limit. So we'll just out, out train him. How come the Eastern Island looks like a fetus? Because... Because it's a random new world? I don't know. We have Humiliate, and we have Humiliate Rival. 0% aggressive expansion, 0% prestige, 0% cost. Apparently he's in a federation. Kill! Wow, this is grain as well. No wonder we have so much force limit. All right, looks like we can just do a siege race now. If we outrace their sieges, their siege ability, then uh, we can just separate piece, get it all done. And actually, this guy might even be willing to take a piece soon. I did not leave the garrison at stronger than half strength, though, so that is going to give them an advantage. Watch us get unlucky. Supply shortage versus food shortage. Damn it! They're ahead! Supply shortage versus our supply shortage. We got another supply. Three supply shortages in a row. They got... God damn it! Cheaters! Of course, they've breached my capital. I mean, what the hell is happening here, you know? Like, it's just so... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, this guy, I guess, will force his religion for the prestige. We'll take... Mm, the money's useless to me. We'll take uh, war reps. And all the alliance. Transfer trade. Uh, let's do enforced military access for the prestige and then some money. No money. Now we just have to get back there. He'll probably take the 7% siege chance. Knowing my luck. We have high income, quote unquote. Now Flory was telling me um, yesterday, the day before, that he likes to save this whole tree all the way down until when he can build many factories. Because then you can get uh, construction time and construction cost on the manufactories. And that's something I don't normally do, but could be good. Maybe we should try that. Don't take my capital. Please don't take my capital. That's just such bullshit. You're such a sack. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm. God damn it! This game. This fucking game, man. Thank God. Alright, all we want is show strength. Awesome. <laughs> the awesome humiliation is complete. We can migrate. So, we're gonna migrate to... First off, we want to take migration cooldown. It costs 500 Diplo points, and apparently it's not affected by our idea cost reduction. Interesting. So we're going to migrate to Mississippi. And now we should already have quite a few reductions to it. Next migration is possible 1450, 717. We have 65% reduced migration cooldown. And what we're going to do next is go down to negative 3 stab so that we can migrate even more. So I think we take stab cost because we're going to be doing no CB wars. And force limit could help out if we need to do stuff. More guaranteed shock is good too, but we're not rolling generals right now, so let's take manpower. Is 
Does the negative modifi negative migration modifier on provinces stack? I don't think so, no. Okay, so this guy's got no friends. We have a, a big truce with him. Um, I think we're just going to go down to negative stab here. Unfortunately, it's going to cost, uh, you know, seven war exhaustion to do so, because we, we don't technically have a cast his belly. I guess if we fabricated on him, we could avoid some of that war exhaustion, but it's probably not worth it. We just want to, like, go in there while his garrison's really tiny. I want to get to negative three stabs, so we'll do it. It's fine. So now, because we have negative three stab, our modifier to migration becomes minus 95%, which means we can migrate again in 58 days. So we can migrate every 90 days. <laughs> means every 90 days we get 150 monarch points. It's totally fair. Totally reasonable. <laughs> and we're apparently blessed. So it's already basically time to, yeah, it's time to migrate. We need this war to be over. Come on, you're costing me monarch points here, dude. Come on, you piece of shit! 200 days, we could have migrated almost three times by now! God damn it! We just need some freak! There's like 200 dudes in there. And we... God damn. Dice rolls, man. Uh, we can humiliate him as well, we can force his religion, we can war rep him, and we can end rivalry with us for a lots of prestige gain. Fine. Sounds good. Time to migrate. We're gonna migrate to Yamana. Okay, so we have our humiliate rival bonus. I guess next we're gonna go for a large city. Developed nation. We should just get developed nation with one province. We'll develop it like crazy. We have we do have a, a penalty primitives modifier, but let's go back to this. It's a cell part of one state. It is. Raise banners. Oh yeah. We have banners. I forgot about that. Um So dumb. We have banners. We generate over 50 monarch points a month. Yeah, so let's think about this. We're generating once every three months we get 150. We can migrate again in six days, five days, two days, one days. You have to actually click it in the list, which sort of sucks. We gain the force migrate. Don't you dare take Yamana. He's gonna migrate on a Miana, Yamana, isn't he? You take my province. You son of a bitch. I knew he would do it. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you. Let's go over to here. Teleportation, no jitsu. Found grains, we're no longer over the force limit. This province can't make gold. Very likely to be grain. This is this is almost like having a uh, infinite monarch point exploit. So, we are not even 10 years into the game, and we've nearly completed all of the national ideas. Let's take the colonists now. Now, we're not going to use them, because if, if you start colonizing, you can't actually migrate anymore. So I guess from here now, we just start powering through the ideas. The regular, sorry, the regular tech. We get ahead of everybody. And then... We still can't build boats. So we're not going to be able to... to actually get the achievement and like, you know, explore or anything. At some point we will have to start either colonizing or developing. I'm kind of tempted to to just do the development and develop feudalism to show what that looks like when you have when you push dev push the the bonus. Would you guys rather do that, or just do the tech? Develop tech? No, that's that's exactly my point, Quill 13. I want to show what happens if you try to do dev pushing as a colonial nation. You can do it, it's really expensive because you got that primitive modifier, but it does some squirrely stuff when you get to the point where you, you have the institution 
in your country, but you can't embrace it because the requirement to embrace an institution, you, you have to reform your religion first, but you can't reform your religion unless you have a neighboring core of someone who has embraced. No one on the New World can do that. So, even if you dev push it, you can't do it. Does the dev stay after you migrate? Yes, it does. Now, I don't know, let's actually just do one click to see if the... Um, the feudalism progress stays around as well. So it's at 2% right now. Do you get more monarch points for migrating to high development provinces? Nope. You get the exact same. It's 50 of each category every time you migrate, no matter what. And all we've done is stack it to the point where we have three month cooldown, which is apparently the highest you can possibly get. We checked all the game files, all the modifiers. There's no other source of migration cooldown available. Unfortunately. Okay, do we still have feudalism progress? We do. So. That means we can keep on migrating back and forth and not lose the progress as we generate monarch points for migration. So, let's turn on dev cost and let's start dev pushing feudalism. We'll go with, uh... Just like all the monarch points into it for now until we get it. And dev push it a little bit more. And it's at 99.6. And now it's present. But... Even though it's present, we can't embrace it, because we haven't reformed our religion. Even though we have it, we can't do it, because we need a neighboring province that is, so we're stuck now. But here's what's squirrely, is that now we can dev push the other institution, and I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, you can still embrace that one. Yeah, hey, cloth. That's uh, pretty convenient. Can we get cloth in this province? How the hell did we get cloth? I don't feel like cloth should be available over here. Found some grain. Now the problem is that if I try to... We can't even get spread right here, because even though it's still present, it, it's definitely present in that province. Um, it's not going to spread here. We'd have to dev push it. I think we're just going to have to keep dev pushing the capital, which is apparently going to be here. I don't know why I chose this province. We should have dev pushed this one in the first place, because it's got the estuary. It's all in the same state? No, it's not. Damn. That was just dumb. Well, whatever. Maybe put the map on trade goods? There you go. I'll probably constantly press buttons and change it, but... <gasps> he came closer! You son of a bitch. We got iron this time. He's allied with that guy still. We have... No truce with him. And, uh, can we rival him? We cannot rival him. Well, I don't want him to, like, take my my good provinces and stuff here. Iron's a pretty good trade good, but... Vassalize him. Alright, fine. It's gonna slow down our uh, migrations. Let's just get our morale up to full. We can definitely afford to hire... Uh, afford to fire? Afford to hire another general. Since we generate so many monarch points. We need to migrate first, which we can't do until 16 days. Go down to speed 4 again for the war. Okay, bump stab once, declare no CB. We don't have any general. We didn't roll our general. Alright, I'm going to give Sildadia another chance. Pretty good. 241, I'll take that. Sure. No siege pips, unfortunately, but better, Sildadia. Nicely done. Uh, let's also hire some banners because why not? I'm gonna put us over the force limit temporarily, but. Look at this guy run an institution spread edict, even though he can't actually embrace it. What a dum dum. And we need to send this army now south to go and knock out the other guy too. Apparently, have no leader. Uh, we've got the 
don't actually have a Native Uprising discount, do I? I want to have that, because I don't want to be fighting a bunch of randoms as we march through. So, I think I'm going to spend 42 admin, we're going to go take this. And we're going to take this. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I already did have it. Whatever. I just like the symbols, okay? <laughs> the symbols, they just, they just make me happy. That's, I'm just pressing the button. Just shut up. <laughs> just shut it! Shut up, don't talk to me! Now, I hope he's not gonna actually go fight that army. Let's split this, um... Pull four more troops off, try to go reinforce that. If he, if he goes after that 3.5, he'll definitely win. If he tries to race my capital, we will win. See how he's already lost some troops? He's been fighting natives on his march up here. Damn it! That's what I was worried about. Look, look at all the migrations we've lost here. We already have Splendor, apparently. We have a large city. We have Humiliate Rival. We're not present on two continents. We could actually get five vassals if we go nuts. We could control centers of trade, but we can't upgrade them. We could go to 100 development into our golden era. Three war taxes, combat bonus in the train of capital. Um, I guess combat train bonus is the most logical one for right now. I figure if we merge these two armies together, 7th and the 3rd and the 21st, unfortunately. Weird stuff happening here. Because that native battle. Definitely some really weird stuff. Unfortunately, being in this war is, like, costing us hundreds and hundreds of Monarch Points now. That army's too small to threaten either of my current stacks, so let's just go and start sieging this other province. But yeah, think about how many times we've missed migration now. Make him into an awesome vassal. <laughs> Congrats, you're an awesome vassal now. Make this guy also into an awesome vassal. We're gonna migrate. We're still at the cap. Max out mercantilism? We could. Um, I think we want to do... we're still... Hey, Cloth! I was, <laughs> we've been waiting for Cloth for the dev cost discount, so now it's time to dev push this the rest of the way. Up to, like, I don't know, a lot. Now, in the past, you used to be able to continue to develop and you would spread Renaissance as well, but apparently they did patch it, so... Um, I think we probably want to go to 40, just so we can get four banners at a time, even though it's 149 points now. I think 40 is like a good spot for all of the institutions, or all of the, the provinces we're going to colonize to, to shoot for. We've got room for a lot of troops, and I don't really need the manpower. We're still at negative three stab, we can still colonize, we've got disloyal subjects. I guess we're placating them, possibly? Or maybe improving relations to just try to make them loyal. Go to... We're gonna rename this one to... A something. A... We found grain here. Still part of the same state. Interesting. So if you migrate within the same state, the state edict does not turn off. 
I'm annoyed at the possibility that this guy might migrate into a province that I want. Um, there is no chance for cloth until the development gets a little bit higher, so we should just dev push this now. Feudalism is now... We've, we've purchased feudalism in three... Three provinces. We have high income. <laughs> what if we develop our subject's land to make them loyal? We can already migrate again. We should do that. We should just dev push their land. Primitives, devastation. I can dev push his land to make him loyal. Why not? That's a great way to keep him loyal. <laughs> 